Hello and welcome to the history of Stargate Atlantis. Today's episode we're going to be covering the advanced ancient hologram. And here we go. Holography is the science of producing holograms, an advanced form of photography that allows the image to be recorded in three dimensions. The technique of holography can also be used to optically store and retrieve information. The ancients had technology to make solid holographic guardians and a holographic sword, as well as fully interactive teaching programs and most probably other similar programs. The Asgard also developed a holographic pedestal to allow them to communicate with others by projecting their holograms onto nearby ships or broadcasting them to other projectors light years away. Other minor races have also developed holographic technology over time. Ancient holograms are the most advanced. In addition to the ability to transmit lifelike holograms over great distances, including sound, they were also capable of simulating substance, creating a hologram which can fully interact with its environment. Ancient ships also possess holographic heads-up displays and can project holograms with sound onto their ships, even when traveling at 99.9 the speed of light. Although, this speed does hinder their ability to retrieve sound from the hologram. Atlantis has a whole room which contains a large hologram emitter to display holographic information from the Atlantis database. And in an alternate timeline, the whole city was capable of projecting holograms anywhere from within it. It is unknown if this feature was present since the ancients constructed the city or if it was an upgrade performed by the Tari after they discovered it. Ancient holograms also work as weapons, being able to transmit painful energy into subjects over large distances. Ancient hologram technology was also frequently combined with their impressive artificial intelligence software to create lifelike interactive holograms, including the one used in the teaching program on Atlantis. In an alternate reality, the Tari were able to program Dr. Rodney McKay's knowledge and personality into a hologram to be run on Atlantis's projection system, but it is unknown if the software behind it was ancient or not. Due to the amount of knowledge the hologram possessed, it is possible that some forms of neural energy was used to copy McKay's mind. The ancients have been proven to possess such technology, as have the Asgard. The Tal'ri would have had access to both technologies. Hey, thank you for watching the history of Stargate Atlantis. Special thanks to the Stargate Wiki for all information you heard today, and very special thanks to Royalty Free Tube for this fantastic background. Have a great day. Bye-bye.